Today's game comes to you from Gone Guy Games. Now that we have a release date for Covert Missions, pre-orders are now officially open. As always, don't forget code COMMANDO10 at checkout for more extra savings combined with their free shipping on 25 or more for significant total savings. This year, for the first time, introducing the Gone Guy set, a traditional Saga style set, at 325 with the COMMANDO10 discount puts it below many competitors' pricing. Be sure to check them out at gongai.com. Hello everyone, and welcome to Dice Commando's coverage of tonight's Monday Night Dice Tournament here at Gone Guy Games. On our left we have Andrew, we saw in round one, he's playing Jin Cassian. And on our right we have Nathaniel, he's playing Raylo. So Andrew has shown that he's on the mill variant of this deck. Uh, Nathaniel will have a really good opportunity to get some shield strikes in. So we'll have to see how Andrew strategically uses his guns to keep those shields down. All right. Yep. Andrew gives Raylo the sheet. Wins the roll off. Gives Raylo the shields, which always feels bad. But Raylo does need to play upgrades, so that will help Andrew as well. All right. So Cassian coming in first rolls a dollar and a blank. Not a great start. The direct damage on Ky direct, that Kylo can put out is going to be a huge threat. Raylo definitely is favored in this match. But again, with the guns, let's see if Andrew can keep him off those shields for his tricks. All right, is, is Nathaniel's action here? All right, cross guards down on one for Kylo. He'll ping for one and then mill one. All right, loses the pacify, so it goes on to Jin. Back to Andrew here. Andrew actually takes the resource and mills one, gets in Intimidate, no huge loss there. All right, power action for one more into Jin, moves over to Ray. Andrew drops the pistol, leaves him without resource control here. All right, Kylo down, rolls pretty well. Jin's going to take a beating. Now, do you remember the blaster has redeploy? All right, so we have triggers for days here. So first, he'll get to look at the, Andrew, look at the top three of Nathaniel's deck. Get to put them back in any order he wants. And he'll mill one for Jin. The question will be what he'll do with the pistol, because he can reroll or mill. So, yep, he mills one for Jin. And then he has the triggers left. All right, so he is going to mill there, so he's planning on taking the shield, and then he can reroll Jen. And that's what he's thinking about: is does he want to reroll Jen's die or not? The two, yep. So he does pick it up, rerolls it, gets the discard. That's a win. I'm sure Nathaniel takes advantage of his hit here. Oh, goes three. Okay, he's planning on using the. Ray power action. He sees that shield on the field, which is not a bad play. Oh, Andrew picks it up. Yep. All right, goes into damage. All right, so he was going to activate Ray, but first he power actions to the Kylo special. Yep. All right, Rebel Assault. If you have a Die showing a gun, remove a yeah, remove a non-damage die. Alright, Ray coming out. Two and a blank. And we'll drop two cards. Gets a Ezra's and an R2. Alright, two more, so I mean that's seven damage into Jin. It's not bad. Alright, so Andrew will take one shield off and mill. Gets a Galactic Deception. Again, no huge loss there. Nathaniel probably claims here, which is actually a big win for him. Yep. So that'll save him a card or maybe two. Yep. So uh, I believe Andrew was looking for Steadfast there because he actually didn't want to feed Nathaniel damage. All right, so three is taken. We'll go into the next round. And by feed him damage, so remember Steadfast moves damage from one of your characters to, or from, in Nathaniel's case, can move damage from a Ray or a Kylo to someone else. So Andrew didn't want to throw damage across the table and feed Nathaniel.
unless those cards weren't a threat. All right, but Nathaniel will get us started here. Yep, that's a good open. Polarity, so that's worth two damage, effectively. Yep, moves it over. All right, so Jin is in trouble here. Three health. Or should I just say three hit points remaining? All right, scrap heap down for one. Okay, and then, yep, mills him right back. Gets a gin pistol, no loss there. Uh, oh, Andrew just went twice in a row. Because he played scrap heap milled, Andrew just went twice in a row. All right, so now we're doing the gin trigger. So mills one for gin after looking at the hand, and then mills one for not rerolling the pistol, and then he does get to reroll gin. Which goes into a blank. Yeah, they're talking about the right now they're talking about the blaster. The blaster on Jin is crazy good. It's good anyway, but on Jin it's crazy good. Alright, Kylo coming in. Not a bad roll. All right, so Andrew entangles. Yep, power action over. Okay, Andrew drops two. All right, draw closer in a Yoda's. Two more into Jen, one hit point from death. Another polarity would do it. He does have the resource for it. All right, Andrew brings out Cassian without the pistol, but Nathaniel wasn't going to fall for that. It was highly unlikely to fall for that. So, all right, yep, there's lethal on the board. All right, rolls in. Or not re-rolls re and re-rolls. All right, yep, dead gin forced the hand with the hit, but why not re-roll anyway if you're re-rolling Cassian? So that we have the redeploy, and you roll mill and discard. And does Nathaniel claim here? Probably. Nope, takes the shield. Oh, yeah, sets up Kylo, makes sense for one damage. And Andrew will claim. Ooh, plays a card, adapts to gain a resource. Hmm, that did cost him a card overall. And now he'll go in with four resources. But there's his polarity. And Andrew will get us started after he takes his resources. There we go. All right, so Cassian coming in, not a great roll there, and Andrew, Andrew actually mill since he's re-rolling anyway. Yep, yep, he gets the steadfast, so he's safe there. And then he gains one resource for scrap heap due to the mill. Yep, there's a polarity, so Andrew will take. Oh, okay, yeah, it takes two. Yep, so we put it on Kylo, moved over to Ray. All right, Andrew will discard a reroll here. There, right, he drops a clandestine. He's not counting on pairing stuff up. Right, spins one to isolate the discard. It is a net save of one. All right, Andrew, oh, had a scruffy. What's he sitting on that he's not... Interesting. Could have easily called a vent there, right? All right, two for a treasured. I'll cost him one from deck. So 
so it'll be he'll uh, right now they're discussing does he draw before or after but he'll draw first Oh, it's because they're both after effects. Yeah, they're both after effects. All right, Kylo coming in. Not too bad, but he's going to get picked here because we haven't seen a pickings yet. Yep, there we go. That's probably what Andrew needed to squeak this out. Still going to be hard. All right, takes the dollar. Ooh, gets right, gets it off the table. Oh, best of the wing guard hitting the table. So he can exhaust that and pay one to force Nathaniel to choose and discard. All right, overwrite smalls, and that'll one more off the top. That's a lot of that's a lot of cards this round. Mall saber is pretty big though. All right, so yep, force him to discard one. So he's down to one card in hand. Ray coming in could swing real big here, but does not. Oh, ooh, 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 the special's big, though. Yep, so one, and then he'll put all the damage into Ray because he'll want to be able to bounce or die. Yep. Yep, that was nicely done. Okay, so two shields on a Kylo. Rolls in, hits the special again. Yeah, so he's now he has to. He probably actually just puts him on the Kylo so he can roll in again, right? If he hadn't power action Kylo already, he could have done that and then bounce. But I mean, he had to set himself up for where for what he had. Yeah, so he's gonna put him on the Kylo and roll in again. Gets a shield. All right, so we see four cards left in Nathaniel's deck here. All right, shield on Ray, two, and then he has, yeah, he has, yeah, he was thinking about the reroll, but with the modifiers. So do remember that Maul Saber, you can pay one and roll it back in. So this game is not over at all. Nathaniel has, will he have one left in deck? Nope, he's completely in hand. That also makes life a little harder for Andrew. But either way, Andrew's going to have to get rid of five cards. So he can flip over to... They're just talking about Scrap Heap being worthless now with no cards in deck. All right, so Cassian coming in. And he can re-roll... Or no, he can re-roll. Yeah. Gets the discard. Power action one over, casting at five. All right, drops two from hand. Neiman and hidden motive, and then deals one indirect. Because why not? All right, Kylo coming in. All right, picks, yep. Back to Nathaniel, two cards in hand. Yep, Ray coming in. Uh, lost it in the glare there. Yeah, this new spot that Gunga has us playing at is unfortunate for the glare, but uh, that's a big roll. Oh, so Andrew's playing Flee the Scene. So actually, yeah, it takes both the Ray dice. So he'll pass. So he's if he hits on Kylo, Andrew's toast, right? He has to, so that's interesting, 16% chance, but he's, Andrew's basically forcing Nathaniel to drop cards for the reroll. That's an interesting gamble. Okay, so power action, let's go to the two or the special for two. So he does resolve the special, which will take it off the table. Okay, Andrew passes again.
So if Nathaniel passes, the round ends. If he, oh, he claims, so Andrea can actually take an action. That's big, because now Andrew, yep, yeah, so he heals two. He can Vespin here, right? Yeah, three cards in Nathaniel's hand. This is real close. Yep, so he'll pay his last resource. Nathaniel will choose, gets rid of an adapt. Yeah, doesn't need that. All right, discards a reroll. It's a blank. Drops a net trap. Gets two. Put it into Kylo and then deal an indirect. Okay, comes off the shield on Ray, and that'll do it. All right, this is real close. Do you remember that Ray's power action can flip Kylo to two just right out of the gate? So, all right, so here comes Kylo with his three dice. Does not roll well. Andrew just needs to stay alive here. Alright, gets a discard. Yeah, it does reroll the gin pistol. Uh, the same thing. Alright, power actions to go to Kylo 2. Andrew's delaying. He must not have removal, or he must have. Well, he probably probably has another flea. Have we seen? We've seen both picks, right? All right. So he's looking through Nathaniel's discard. Yeah, what he's afraid of is like an Ataru strike or something here, because he knows he can take the two. We do see a flea in Andrew's hand. It's the middle, middle card there. We see a flea the scene. Yeah, Andrew's still thinking what he wants to do. It is still his action. Because if Andrew flees too early, then Nathaniel just passes because he's not in a rush, right? So discard and then one indirect. Oh, takes it on the shield, All right? So he's not worried about Ataru. So that was a lot of value gains or informational value gain there. So yep, take the two. All right, takes a resource and tosses an indirect across the table. Goes on to Kylo. All right, Ray coming in. Andrew could be in trouble here. Oh, does not hit. It's going to cost him. Oh, and he can't pitch to reroll. He cannot pitch to reroll. He needed something, anything. So, Andrew Field Medic. So, Nathaniel can. Oh, he is. He's just going to discard to reroll. I was going to say he could actually resolve, but didn't have even a base side. All right. That's. All right. That's it. Yep. So, Andrew will flee and remove those two dice. Because the thing is, pitching to reroll. He was gonna lose it for Bestman anyway, so. But yeah, that'll that'll do it. All right, takes a shield. He'll throw one across the table, I think, with the Kylo power action, which he does. And Andrew will pass again, and he goes to Nathaniel. All right, yep, that'll do it. All right, Jin Cassian takes down Raylo in round two today. Nicely done, guys. If you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, please show your support with a like and a subscribe. Please remember to keep all comments civil and constructive and to help us continue to grow this amazing community. Thank you for watching Dice Commando. Hey, thanks for uh, watching Dice Commando. This is Ruth Ann. I appreciate it. And uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.